Hey people! Alright, Sylvia's here. Okay. Can never always tell if I'm actually doing a recording or not. Uh, I am off to the Oasis Tomb. Um, there are seven out of Ankh Tombs, and one in Ankh Tomb. And I guess there's also that Horstis's guy, Horstis, something like that. His tomb. Uh, I probably can't do his tomb solo. There's some tough things in there, and it's kind of small. But uh, I can do the other ones, at least uh, up till like where the actual pharaohs are. Um, possibly the interior one might give me some trouble too. I didn't really look into it, so I don't know. Uh, the the ones I was most interested in doing though here are the Oasis Tomb, the Tarpet Tomb, and the uh, the one I did last time, the Stone Tomb. Uh, and the reason for that was the Tarpet Tomb has the Behemoths, which sounded interesting. The Stone Tomb had the Ancient Scarabs and the Giant Spiders, and this one has Warlocks. Uh, none of the other tombs had anything that was particularly noteworthy, at least at first glance. Um, they may have had, like, higher concentrations of things that were interesting, but when I looked online, this was the only one that seemed super interesting. Alright, so it looks like the spot is right there. Uh, once again, I brought flash arrows for the uh, the beginning stage. You may want to be careful dropping into this one because of that scarab trick I explained. I uh, think I'm going to, again, just sort of... Well, I'm going to kill these because I want meat. But uh, for the most part, on this top level, I'm just going to run past everything. Much like I did the, uh, the last times. Also, you know, we'll make things go a little bit faster. Because that last video was too long. Too long. Uh, worth mentioning, this tomb does have one unique aspect to it, sort of. Um, there is somewhere in it, and I don't really know where. Uh, there is a dead ghost and a dead ghoul. Like, their bodies, and their bodies do not decay. Uh, they respawn every day, so if you're so inclined, you could grab those. Let's go down. Yeah, you could grab those and use them as house decorations or the weirdest backpacks, I suppose, ever. Oh, come on. Well, I guess you get to die now. Oh, and I remember to bring out... Check that out. Like, I remember to bring uh, scare coins, have all of my backpacks on me, and also made sure I brought my blessed wooden stake. I am prepared. Although, to be fair, last time I also brought my Blessed Wooden Stake, and, uh, was... Brought, I brought enough backpacks, but, um... I was an idiot, and didn't realize I had moved them around in my primary backpack. Whoops! Also, I brought more arrows this time. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, 100 and... Oh, yeah. One, uh, 1,100. 1,100, if you will. Um... Crystalline arrows, and I brought 400 flash arrows. Elves, and a dwarf, and an Amazon. Right. I do actually remember this now. In fact, I always kind of thought that this one was, uh. That is, I guess, the skeleton also? Yeah, I do not believe the skeleton, that ghost, or that, um. ghoul. I wonder if uh, it was supposed to be like the dwarf, the elf, and the Amazon were those two things or something like that. But anyway, yeah, those don't decay, so you can pick those up. And, uh, yeah, use them for decoration, I suppose. The ghost, I believe, only weighs a very small amount. So we just got skeletons in here, and a bunch of, uh, snakes. Yeah. This tomb does not have a good top level. This is why uh, I always used to hunt way, way, way back when um, in the Shadow Tomb. Because the Shadow Tomb has, like, mummies and ghouls and beholders and even a slime, I think, on the top level. And then has, you know, vampire, well, a vampire, some fire devils, a bunch of mummies, crypt shamblers, and other good stuff on the, uh, uh, kill the stalker, kill the stalker. Okay. Well, I suppose I should give this level at least some credit. But anyway, yeah, I always kind of 
enjoyed the Shadow Tomb. It just had good stuff on levels 1 and 2, that you didn't have to use the stone to get through. Fortunately, it also had Fire Elementals, and while I did kind of mention the Fire Devils with a positive uh, connotation at the beginning, I definitely did not mean to. Fire Devils are actually annoying. I mean, sure, they can drop some good stuff, but... When they don't drop the good stuff, they kind of suck. And they don't drop the good stuff most of the time. And they're not really good EXP, and they hit really hard. I would love it if uh, all these like snakes would get out of my way. Because they are just completely worthless to me. Also, I'm not running into as many food sources as I would like. I also probably should have considered uh, actually like investigating whether or not flash errors were a good thing in this, uh, this tomb. I sort of just went on under the assumption that in the, uh, the stone pit tomb, flash arrows, nothing was really resistant to flash arrows besides like the giant spiders and I think the ancient scarabs. So flash arrows were kind of a viable option, but there's a decent amount of gargoyles here and I'm not too sure if uh, they're resistant to flash arrows. And I didn't want to have to start eating my limited amount of brown mushrooms. I'm going to run out of food, which is great. By the way, Wiki suggests, in case anybody cares, uh, level 1, everybody should have been level 10, except for mages that should have been level 13. Uh, and then Wiki suggests, knights want to be 30, and everybody else wants to be 25 for this level. I feel like... It's probably not super accurate. <laughs> I don't know what level knights get berserk. But I think they would need Berserk to be able to take care of the Stalkers. Ah, crap. I'm actually going in the right way. I'm going to kill that slime. And I'm going to go check all the other paths first. Ah, oh, he's running from me. Ah, potatoes. Now I don't have to eat my brown mushrooms. Alright, so anyway. We'll go north first, I guess. I do enjoy the little zigzag thing. Now, if only it wasn't filled with crap. Yep. Crap. Maybe there'll be a payout at the end. Beholder or something. Bone Lord. Whatever. Or, maybe there'll just be two gargoyles and two ghouls. In other words, you know, crap. Uh, I just wasted an arrow on a snake. There we go. Gargoyles also kind of suck. Finally, I broke a uh, hundred gold so far. That includes that like nomad I killed out on the surface too. Get out my way! I hate when they do that. Like they get in my way, so then I go to step, like take one step up, and they also take that one step up. It's obnoxious. And you know what's funny? It happens in the real world, too, like where you're walking down the road or, like, you know, a hallway or something like that, and there's someone coming your way. And you both do the little, like, uh, 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 I'll, I'll go left. No, uh, I'll go. Yeah, it's awkward. Really, just skeletons? Get that. Oh, dude. See? See? I just didn't want to deal with them. It was just a pile of crap, and I didn't want to deal with it. But I will gladly uh, loot all their bodies. Torch. Torch. Okay, that reminds me. I never really upped my uh, the ambient lighting. I should probably do that real quick. <sighs> Graphics. Advanced. We'll set it up to 74. That way I can still kind of get the feel of the uh, the actual light sources, but whatever. I don't know. I like Tibia's natural light sources. I think for the relative uh, graphical weakness of this game, that the uh, the lighting is is decent. Oh, good. I hope he dropped a bunch of meat. 
Oh yeah, meat. Only one though. What about this guy? What are you? Ah, uh, only one. Great. Some ghouls. Twenty-one gold coins. Cobras, hurrah! Things that always poison me. I want my 12 gold coins. I'm wasting a whole bunch on these stupid arrows. I think uh, today I managed to... Uh, I sold all of my like various items that I bought with the market. If you watch my videos... Um, clubbering. I don't remember if that's worth anything. I might as well take that for now. I can always throw it on the floor later on. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you watch my videos, I have a video that's like entitled... Um, how to make money on the market, and it kind of explains how I do things. But, uh, yeah, I think I turned, I think I made, like, a 300k profit in the past, like, four or five days. So, I mean, not bad, considering I have literally not played. And then, unfortunately, I spent around 100k today on rebuying my Blessings again. After that, uh, I hadn't, I hadn't purchased them since the, uh, the Oromon death. So I was actually fighting all those uh, ancient scarabs and giant spiders without blessings on me. And I was considering just continuing here without blessings, but I figured um, warlocks are potentially scary enough that I should probably have my blessing, just, you know, just in case. Plus, like, I'm confident I won't die to a warlock, but, like, a warlock and, like, three green gins or something like that. Because I think there's green gins in here, or like a warlock and two necromancers, or a warlock and a lich. That's a whole different ball game we're talking about. Um, all right, now we're going south. So yeah, uh, I figured I should get my blessings just in case. Because you know, if I drop my war singer bow or something like that, I would just you know probably quit Tibia. Screw it, we're done here. Now, I would totally come running back here and sprint into whatever room it was that killed me if I did drop my War Singer bow. It would not matter what it had killed me. I don't care if I had, like, accidentally walked into demons. I would go back. Stupid stalker. Obsidian Lance? I think those are 500 gold to one of the colors of Jin's. I don't remember which ones. Hey, look, it's Mommy. Hey, look, I missed. Hey, look, I missed. Or I think I hit, but for just negligible amounts of damage. Whoops. Wait, I can use that? Really? I can't use with anything else, but I can with flasks of embalming liquid. That's kind of fascinating. I wonder if there's like a, like a quest that requires you to use them on something? I'm sure I've uh, I've looked up what NPC buys the. Uh, God. I'm sure I've looked up what NPC buys those in the past, and I didn't see any kind of thing about a quest alert or something like that. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. Nothing in there. The slime. Second time I've killed this. Bam! You're dead. Come on, potatoes. I want your potatoes. That's not a potato. Scarab, come on, meat. I really do not want to eat my, start eating my limited supply of uh, brown mushrooms. Ugh. Ugh. What else we got down here? Another scorpion, another scarab, another scorpion, and a gargoyle. Let's target the uh, scorpion. Go scorpion tail! Woo! Eat the meat. Nothing. I'm kind of happy that didn't poison me right there. Alright. Now I need to remember that the next level down is the level where I want to stop just running into rooms like I just did right there. Once, you know, the monsters start getting a little bit more dangerous, I definitely need to stop just being like an idiot and running right in like that. Alright. Ghoul? Ghoul. 
Mommy? 68 gold coins. Woo! Rehemos' Hall of Illusions. Ah, right. This is the one with the, uh, the goblins. Oh, hey, actually. This is actually kind of cool. I have, in the past, a long time ago, actually been in here before. Uh, me and my friend could barely get down this staircase, though. I mean, okay, now to be fair, this was the old magic system. Uh, not the one where, uh, like, sorcerers are um, energy and fire and druids are earth and ice. This was before ice even existed. That's how old I'm talking about when I say the old magic system. So that was that. Um, and then also, my friend was a lower level than me, and I was like level 32. So, this was actually a, an impressive feat that we even tried this. And I don't know which other tomb me and him went into. His, uh, his character's name was Sacred Soulja. He also had a knight called War Soldier. Sacred was a druid, though. And then War was a knight, as I mentioned. Uh, but anyway. We, uh... We went into another tomb, and were, like, just wandering around, and we hadn't, we hadn't, like, encountered anything. And then the first thing we encountered was a lich. Uh, <laughs> So, it didn't go so hot, so we were like, oh man, like, can we fight the Lich? And then it, like, summoned a Bone Beast, and we were like, oh, we definitely cannot fight the Lich. So, we both ran, and uh, I had a couple of SDs on me, right? So, uh, we both ran, and then we went into, like, another room just to see what we could find in that room, and there was a Banshee. So, we're both like, uh, what do we do? So, we're kind of, like, running from the Banshee, but it's not hitting us with ranged attacks or anything like that, so it's not that big of a deal. But we know they can hit really hard in melee. So the both of us are like trying to stay out of melee, and then it, uh, I didn't realize it, but Banshees can paralyze. So it paralyzes my friend Sacred. Uh, so he can't like move, and he starts like panicking. So uh, I try to like stand in front of the Banshee so it can't get to him. Uh, so it doesn't get to him, and then we get it into the low enough HP, and I shoot it with like two SD runes. We get it in low enough HP that it starts running from us. Uh, which is cool, I suppose. So I'm like, wait, no way am I letting this Banshee get away from me, right? Like, I wasted two sudden death runes. Those things were expensive. This was also back when, like, you know, I would take exactly 20 mana potions on a hunt because I couldn't afford more and because it just didn't seem like there was any reason to bring more with my limited capacity as a sorcerer. I was a druid back then, too, actually, now that I think about it. Um, so yeah, we go for it, and <laughs> I start chasing it, and I didn't realize Banshees could heal. So it heals, and then turns around, and then just sings, and I just instantly die. Like, I didn't even see what happened. I just see the, like, little, the, um, the music symbols on the screen, and then I'm just dead. I had exactly zero opportunity to do anything. And then, uh, Sacred turned and, uh, managed to get my body. But that was, yeah, that was the end of that. Green gin. I don't know if there's Ifrit here or not. Although, I knew there were green gins here, actually. Um, and completely forgot to bring a Dwarven Ring. So hopefully that doesn't immediately become something that I regret. On a side note, these flash arrows double as ways to kill stupid ghosts, which is nice. <coughs> no vampire dust. Ah, uh, wrong one. Just wasted a good arrow. Kill the ghost. 35 damage. 64 damage. Nothing damage. And another fail on the, uh, the dusting it. Okay. So far, I'm not really enjoying this tune. Too many ghosts. Too many stalkers. 
too many sacks of crap in just basically every way. Oh, I'm not attacking it for some reason. Let's see, buy a blood preservation kit though. And I'm going to. Ooh, vampire dust. Sick. I'm going to hotkey uh, the flash arrows onto something. Oh, they already were. Right! They already were from uh, when I went to go hunt in the spirit grounds with the soul eaters and all that jazz. By the way, wiki suggests on this level, knights be level 60, paladins and mages be 50. And since uh, I can remember it here because I actually have it on a second computer, um, they suggest skills 70-70 and um, distance of 70 for the various folks. So if you're somehow a level 70 knight, but your skills are like 40, you shouldn't hunt here, I suppose. I don't know how you would pull that off, by the way. It's actually an interesting uh, thought, like, experiment, sort of. What's the highest level character with the lowest level of skills? You know, is there, like, a level 100 somewhere that's got, like, skills of only 60? And magic level is its own little beast, because it runs off a different formula. Which is actually kind of annoying. You can't really compare a, um, a magic level to a, like, distance or sword fighting level directly. You know what I'm saying? Like, magic level 17 is a wildly different thing than distance 17, for instance. Cobra tongue. I gotta go pull that out of that thing, then. You know, like, magic level 60, I suppose, is kind of actually, like, legitimately sort of high. I think. I could be wrong. I don't really remember what the, uh... Ugh. I don't really remember what the... Ah, oh, jeez, I double-tapped it. <laughs> I don't really remember what the magic level is on my uh, my sorcerer right now, but I think it's around, like, 60. Probably a little bit less. Whatever, just die. Mm. I am sort of uh, irritated that I have not been able to find a viable food source. I was about to be kind of ticked off. I thought that had poisoned me. And I think I forgot to stake the last vampire I fought. I did forget to stake the last vampire I fought. Uh, don't die on top of your brethren. That was uh, the name of my guild way back in the day, by the way. We owned a guild hall in face. Our guild name was uh, the Brethren. Sort of enjoyed those times. Me and my guild would go on guild hunts. We'd all be like, all right. So I was like the highest level in my guild, right, at like level thirty. So you know, we're we're a low level guild. Now to be fair though, this was also back. I think my guild was formed. Wow, first Crypt Shambler I've seen. Uh, I think my guild was formed, like, maybe a couple months after they introduced Wands and Rods. So, this is also, you know, back when, like, the highest level on my server was, like, level 110 or something like that, right? Um, so, yeah, we were, like, a whole bunch of level 30s and 20s, give or take. Um, and then we would, like, go hunting into the Orc Fort and things like that. And, you know, I like, we, we'd all go into the Orc Fort. You know, most of us were uh, not premium. I was premium, but I think a couple of other people probably... Uh, only, like, one or two others were premium. So we'd go into the Orc Fort. Maybe, like, 20 of us into the Orc Fort. And then, like, three of us would leave. Because, you know, the rest of us would all be dead. But, uh, despite the utter failures that we managed to consistently pull off, it was actually really fun. I had a lot of fun back those back those days. And I would like to say that it didn't matter dying at like level 30 because you know it wasn't a lot of experience points or anything like that, but with the way the game was back then it was actually a large amount of experience points.
You could not just afford to be like, oh, it's fine, screw it, I'll die. Not at all. Bone Lord. Dead. Slime? Which one's the real one? Was that the real one? I mean, that was a real one. Okay, good. Uh, 87? For real? There we go. Well, I'll say this for this dungeon so far. It's got some uh, variety of monsters. And a decent amount of vampires, which is always nice. I haven't found the stairs down yet, which is also kind of nice. No, oh, kill the stalker. Good. Kill the stalker. Good. Kill the stalker always first. That way I don't have to waste mana on them when they go invisible. The second there, I was like, why is my game waking me up? Does this lag? Nope, it was just me running face first into a stalker. Bone Lord. Bone Lord. They are still, for all intents and purposes, beholders. It's annoying that Wizards Off the Coast sued them. Or, I mean, maybe didn't sue them, but like sent them a cease and desist order so they couldn't call them uh, beholders. And it's annoying that they decided to say, screw it and keep them in the game anyway, and then just rename them. I've been, uh, I've been trying to keep the advertising channel open a little bit more, so I can kind of see what people are asking for, like, is real offers for, um, some of the more, like, potentially higher value items. I'm hoping to see somebody selling Elite Draken Helmet or Master Archer's Armor, or whatever the bow is I need, Mycological or something like that, though. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping I can kind of get an idea of what those will cost. Unfortunately, the advertising channel, I don't believe, has any use these days. Nobody seems to be using it. It's basically just dead. So when it's, I saw it flashing there for a second, I was kind of excited. But now it's just a guy asking for a Brazilian guild. Two Bone Lords are draining my mana. Ooh, got a Bone Lord Eye. Bone Lord Eyes are used in a quest. I forget which one. But they're used in a quest, and uh, they're pretty valuable because of that. I think that's like a 5k, give or take, item. Also depends heavily on your world. On the other hand, Elder Beholder Eyes are worth crap. Literally crap. Nah, they're worth, I think, like 120 gold or something like that to an NPC. So, I mean, not exactly zero, but close enough. <laughs> Actually, sort of annoys me because, uh, you know, like Elder Bone Lord Eye should just be worth more than a regular Bone Lord Eye, and the fact that it's not upsets me. I got paralyzed. Crypt Shambler. Crypt Shambler. Mummy. Do it better. You can. Good job. Now, come on. There we go. Nice 48 gold. Flask of embalming uh, fluid. Alright, nothing else in this room? Weird. All the potions going into this room made me think that it was the stairs down. <laughs> it actually kind of bothers me when people throw potions on the floor. I mean, I've definitely thrown potions on the floor myself, so it's not like I can be like, oh, why would anybody ever do that? But I like the hallway floors to be like nice and clean. And also, it bothers me, too, that they're laying on the floor because they are basically just piles of gold, essentially. And uh, I hate leaving stuff on the floor that's valuable. So part of me wants to pick them up and sell them, but I know that's like a gargantuan waste of my time. But still, part of me wants to do it. Uh, kill the green gin first. That's definitely the higher priority. Ooh, I got a mana potion. And cheese. 
minor progress towards my whole uh, not having any food problem. You know, I made sure I brought, like, plenty of everything else, and then just assumed I would be able to kill a whole bunch of, like, wolves. Not wolves, like hyenas and things like that on the way down. So I didn't bother bringing any food. Boy, was that a mistake. Yep, down to three. Down to three. Vampire? Vampire! Yeah. Uh, the mummy managed to poison me at the last second, too. Crystal ring. You suck. Come on. It seems to be, uh, and I'm not so sure of this, but it, it seems to me that there is a delay whenever I switch arrows that prevents me from immediately firing with the new arrows. I could be wrong, but it feels that way. Alright, and we're back in this way. A ghost, a vampire. A ghostly vampire. I should probably just not bother with some of these ghosts, but it's whatever. I got the flash arrows, I might as well use them. It would be different if I had to kill them mostly with the... Uh, divine Strikes. Holy Strikes, whatever it's called. But yeah, it's whatever. So, so far, level 3 is relatively large, and I have not found the stairs down. And I'm actually kind of happy that I haven't found the stairs down. Because that means I don't have to leave them and then double back on the whole... Ah, crap. Oh, look, another one. Oh, look, it keeps moving. There we go. Man, stalkers suck. Anyone else sucks? The fact that I had to shoot at the green gin because it was dangerous instead of the stalker. Miraclum! I think it's a cool item. How it does that. My, uh, my house in Svargon is actually decorated with those because I think they're neat. About gold. Should probably heal. I thought there was a decent chance that the stairs down would be in that room just because it was in the center of sorts. Doesn't seem like it's the case. Oh, another one went invisible. Oh, come on. You know what? There we go. I'm not playing hide the stalker unless I absolutely have to. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. This was definitely me making a mistake. That, that room was larger than I thought it was going to be and had way more things in it than I thought it was going to have. Is there a stalker attacking me? There's a stalker attacking me. Ah, I'm still attacking the, the ghost. Dude, stalkers just are the worst things ever. They just really are the worst things ever. Alright. Oh look, an army of ghosts. Is the, is the vampire still on me? That is a vampire, and it's still on me. Oh, hey, I got an ancient shield. Something that my, uh... I have zero capacity... Sorcerer can now drag to the green jit for it. Uh, did I... Stake? I didn't stake this one. I made a mistake. I didn't stake it. I'd stake my reputation on the fact that I didn't stake that vampire. 
and that I had instead made a mistake. Oh, I'm just full of horrible puns and rhyming words. Give me your teeth. I do amateur dentistry in my spare time. Huh. Oh, terror rod. Not bad. 2K, I think? To the... To the green gins. Whoops. I didn't actually mean to stick it in there, but whatever. Steak. And steak. Eh. Alright. We've got a little spot here coming up. Get that out of my way. I guess I'll take the Cobra Tongue. Those are potentially worth money. Ooh, I'm running low on uh, flash arrows. I will save the rest of them, actually, for... Uh, for when I'm an idiot and walk into a work and get poisoned. At least, uh, so far I haven't run into a freeze. Because they are actually kind of scary. Green piece of cloth, not bad. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to put that in there. There we go. Alright. Mummy that I just walked right into again. Uh, I'm horrible. Ooh. Do 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 do. What do we got in here? Nothing. Nothing. Looks like a yeah. I'm gonna say it looks like that was a bone lord. Is there anything else in here? All right. I'm just not gonna waste my arrows on this uh, ghost. So it looks like I'm going now back to the main area and then going north this time. All right. Some of these things are actually dangerous. What tomb was that? Was that the stone tomb? I can't even tell what tomb that was. That might have been the Tarpets tomb? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm on arrows. Alright, I'm plenty good on arrows. I'm already done, basically done, level 3. At least I hope. No telling how long that other section is, I suppose. Come on. Mommy. Mommy. Divine Strike. Another Divine Strike. Alright. Yeah, you know, it's a little warm today. Considering turning my AC back on. I'm so happy uh, that to turn my AC back on. If I'm only going to put it on for a short period of time, I can kind of leave the fan in the window because I'm only using it to just cool the room and then let the fan keep the room cool. Uh, so all I have to do is just push a button because I don't have one of those window unit fans. I have a portable one. I'm sorry, window unit air conditioner. I have a portable one. Which is actually really nice. I really like my portable air conditioner. Portable air conditioners for the win. Uh, oop, wrong type of arrows. Oh man, I just wasted the 20 gold arrow on a stupid ghost. No, and then I missed. There we go, at least I killed it. 31. 46. Oh jeez, come on. You know, it'd be cool if the ghost would, I don't know, like, drop the about the same amount of loot that, like, the ghouls drop. Just because, you know, they're kind of comparable to each other. In fact, actually, I think they're a little bit stronger than ghouls. And then you also have the physical immunity on top of that. Was there not a whole bunch of vampires here? The last, when I, like, came down the stairs? Yeah, like, did I not get sworn by vampires when I first came down the stairs in this room? Well, I mean, okay, not Swarm, but there was two of them, I thought. Well, there's one. Ah, they're there. They were just taking a break. 
the uh, I don't know about other worlds, but the vampire dust is actually pretty expensive here. I think I sell them for around 5k. <sighs> Figures. I was kind of hoping there was something up there that I could kind of play with while I was waiting for this one's 10 seconds to go down. But of course not. Of course not. Great. Great. Ghosts, my favorite monsters. Ghosts and stalkers, my favorite monsters. I'm sure there's other monsters that probably suck equal amounts, but these two are just so incredibly obnoxious. And they throw them all over the place because they know they're not like real threats. Oh, great. Is there another stalker on me? There is another stalker on me. Even better. Okay, there's probably multiple stalkers. Yeah, there was multiple stalkers. Look at that. Yeah, screw that room. Steak. God. Stalkers and ghosts. Seriously, like the worst things. The only way this dungeon, uh, this tomb could be worse if it also contained a whole bunch of fire elements. You know, like high power enemies that also drop exactly zero loot. We could probably use some of those. I think this this dungeon could get a little bit better that way. But even the update for like the summer update, they'll just in they'll invent stronger ghosts. Well, there's already kind of stronger ghosts, I suppose. Phantasms and uh, specters and stuff like that. Look, gargoyles. But yeah, maybe they'll come up with like stronger stalkers. Just like a permanently invisible type of demon or something like that. Be sick. I'm sure everybody will think that's the coolest monster ever. I know that like, again, some monsters are supposed to be just like, um, like a hurdle for you to overcome. And that is essentially what like ghosts and uh, stalkers are. But um... That's not a good design decision for your game. You know, I remember, like, um, back when I was playing actual Dungeons and Dragons, uh, I was, like, reading a book, and it was, uh, all, like, it was a book that was all about how to, like, you know, use devils in your campaign. Um, and one of the pieces of advice they gave you is if your players aren't complaining that the devils are unfair, you're not running them correctly. Uh, and, like, I thought that was sort of interesting as a concept, but, like, why would you want to play that? I feel like, I mean, it's sort of an okay thing when you're playing, like, a game with your friends, and, you know, there's nothing to lose, essentially, and, um, you can kind of be like, okay, my players clearly aren't having fun, so let me tweak things on the fly to let them have a little bit more fun. But that's not how Tibia works. So they should definitely have less just wretched monsters in their game. Or at least make them rewarding in some way. I mean, like, make them really, you know, make the ghost drop something worthwhile, or make them give more EXP. Make it so that there's a challenge to get one of the things I want. Don't make it so that there's just a random challenge in my way. You know, ghosts could give, like, a little bit better EXP or something like that. Great. Great. Are they still chasing me? Okay, I think I may have lost them. Now hopefully they've gone back to being uh, visible so I can shoot them in the face. Nope. Not at all. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was awesome! That was literally the best time for the, the the stalkers to still be there. Ah, man, that was le that was legit awesome. What uh oh, mommy. That was yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that was that was pretty sick. Get a whole bunch of stalkers on me, be like, whatever, it's fine. It's not like there's anything dangerous in this room. 
and then get blocked while I'm trying to run away from a lich. So just a room full of stalkers there, and a lich. I think there was mummies in there too. You know, you can, you can tell a lot by about a person by the company they keep. So there's a whole bunch of invisible dudes, some Egyptian mummies, and then a lich in that room. I'm not sure exactly what that says about that guy's company, but probably weird things. Uh, lich! Lich! And a whole bunch of other crap. Don't worry, I was kind of hoping I would never kill him. Yeah, the liches down here actually, because of, because of the company they keep, are a little bit more dangerous and scary than the liches that were on um, in actual lich hell on Ramoa. Ah, uh, was under this one. There we go. I want my fifty gold. I'm not leaving that crap behind. It's fifty gold. No, oh, you kidding me? There we go. Now try. It. Nothing. Great. So staircase down should be in this room. Yep, staircase down is right there. Now, the question is, what's down those stairs? Three liches and a warlock. Nope, just a pile of ghosts, though. And now I have no food. <sighs> I was kind of hoping that when I got to the this level here, that they would chill and cool on the, like, stupid crap monsters, like the ghosts and the ghouls and the stalkers, but now The first thing that I encounter is three ghosts and a ghoul. My favorite. Still a lot of bone lords. Ghouls. For a second there, I thought those were summons, but ghouls aren't summoned by uh, bone lords. They are summoned by elders, I think, though. And necromancers. Oh, come on. Can you just, like, die and get out of my face? Eh. <sighs> and it looks like there's nothing in here that drops food, Is uh, which is also great. Dude, come on. Really? How many of them are there? I'm going to run out of flash arrows, and then I'm going to have to kill them with, um, like, divine strikes. And I'm going to have no food for regening mana. So it's going to be great. And every single one of them is going to be worthless when I kill it, too. Is the best part. Well, I mean, I did get an ancient shield, and I did get... I thought I got a white piece of cloth. I did not get a white police call. I got a ghostly tissue. That's it. So yeah, no, I mean, they've been basically worthless now that I think about it. Completely worthless. Silver brooch, not bad. I gotta kind of pay attention to where the warlock could potentially be. I also need to make sure that the warlock isn't in a room with a whole bunch of other unpleasant things. By the way, Wiki says, Knights 80, Paladins 90... Mage is 70, and it wants uh, knights to have 80-80 skills and paladins to have 80 skills. Just for the record. Book of Necromatic Rituals. Haven't looted one of those in a while. Queen Jin. Oh, yeah. See, and like, that's precisely the thing I'm afraid of, by the way. That that'll happen while I'm, I've got a warlock on me. Do, 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 do. You know what's funny? I think I'm going to take these with me. Because I need a... That's a necro there? Yeah, I need to be able to have a backup option for when I run out of flash uh, arrows for killing the, uh, the ghosts. Please don't do that. Oh, God. Oh, God.
Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. All right, we're done here.